Is this the best dog training PC build? Let's find out. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Giga Geek video. Last January, I built a stock training PC build, my first one, and today I'll be building another training PC build, but with an updated aesthetic and better performance. Around a couple of weeks ago, a client reached out to me regarding a stock training PC build. He wanted to run Think or Swim, Tastyworks, and Ninja Trader, which actually leads me to my first part choice the Ryzen 7 5800X. Since NinjaTrader is a multi-threaded application, I needed to find a CPU that had good multi-threaded performance. The Ryzen 7 5800X is an eight core CPU that will work great with it. And since ThinkOrSwim is the most demanding software running on this computer, the 5800X has a sustained boost of around 4.6 to 4.7 gigahertz on one thread, which is what ThinkOrSwim is. ThinkOrSwim is a single threaded application. This will provide great performance in both NinjaTrader and ThinkOrSwim. As for Tastyworks, it isn't much of a demanding software, so any CPU will work fine. On the high end, ThinkOrSwim, the most demanding application, uses around 16 gigabytes, which leaves an extra 16 gigs for Tastyworks and Ninja Trader, Google Chrome tabs, news feeds. So I chose 32 gigabytes of Vengeance RGB Pro SL. My client wasn't really picky with, the, with his motherboard choice. All he wanted to have was four monitors. I'll get into that later. So I chose the RG Strix B558 Gaming. It's a great motherboard, looks great too, nice white color. And it has one PCIe 4.0 x16 and one PCIe 3.0 x16, which means that he can add a second GPU if he wants, which leads me to my GPU's choice for today. So my client stated that he wanted to have four monitors, like I said before, and two of the really big 49 inch monstrosities. They're just absolutely gigantic. But I've got a lot of questions about whether or not the big monitors will actually work with the GPUs. Let's sort that out. So your system outputs display th through the graphics card, but the GPU supports resolutions, not sizes. Let's say you're running DisplayPort 1.2. It's a bit outdated, but my points will still apply. DisplayPort 1.2 supports 4K or 3840 by 2160. That means any monitor, no matter the size, the shape, anything, as long as the resolution is before is under 3840 by 2160 or 4K or under, it will work. Anyways, like I've said in my other stock training PC build videos, I've chosen a Quadro card, and that is none other than the Quadro T600. It's not the P620. It's basically a P620, but it's on a newer architecture. It has more VRAM. Um, it's overall a better GPU and it's the same price. It has four mini display ports. It's great, small, reliable. I love it. As for SSD and power supply, that's not really a concern. I just went with the Sabin Rocket one terabyte NVMe drive. Super fast and the packaging is amazing. It's like super professional. And for the power supply, I went with the EVGA 750G5. I'm reading that right here. It's a go-rated power supply, 750 watts, and it'll be great for any upgrades the client wanna, might wanna make in the future. Add another GPU, add a more powerful GPU, add a more powerful CPU, etc. Now for the cooling. This could make or break the entire system. You don't want components overheating. And as traders generally run their PC for 12 hours a day, I actually got a client recently that told me that he's running his PC 18 hours a day. A really robust cooling system is necessary. The GPU has its own cooler on it, the T600, so there's no worries about that. So I had a little trouble with the CPU. I've noticed that the 5800X gets super hot. It spikes in temperature really, really quickly. And this is because the 5800X draws around the same amount of power as the 5900X, but it has eight cores and it's on one single die, which means that one single die is emitting so much heat, like all that heat in one tiny area, which yeah, make sure you have to have a really good cooler. So I chose the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. It's a dual tower air cooler. It has one 120 millimeter fan and one 135 millimeter fan. But why did I go with an AIO? So AIOs are generally great. It'll probably provide really good performance, but the pump might go bad in a couple of years, three years, four years, who knows? And if the pump goes bad, you're gonna have to change the entire cooling system. So with the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, none of those worries are how to be worried about. As for the cooling, I went with the Meshify C Black and White Edition. This is actually the same case I used in the previous 2021 stock trading PC build. It's a really good case, a really great build quality, and it has a white and black aesthetic like the rest of the Oreo kind of theme going on here. But anyways, it has a mesh front panel, 
I've added four SL120s. It comes with two stock fans. They're great, but I wanted to add some more, mainly for aesthetics and also for performance. But now let's do a sort of a, a fog test to check out the airflow in this case. So as you can see, the PC really gets rid of all that fog really quickly. It's super efficient and <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting everywhere. The three intakes are sucking in all that smoke and the one exhaust is putting it everywhere. And this really shows how efficient the transportation of air in the system is. It's a really robust cooling system and it'll work great for years to come. All right, let's stop talking and let's start building. Well, that honestly wasn't too bad. It was really easy to work in. Cable management is great, really easy to set up, and I had a really fun time building it. And let me know how you like the uh, new kind of montage I have going on. I've really tried to change it up. I hope you guys like it. And if you're interested in any type of custom computer from gaming to video editing and, and even trading, obviously, I have a lot of experience with these computers. I custom build these, so if you're interested, email me, email me right there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and See you next time.